What is up, guys? It's me again, Kariz. Yay, 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 yay. And today, as you saw in the title, it's gonna be another chill commentary Treasure Wars video, like old days. And it's gonna be about why I believe that if you fail, and this means for pretty much anything in life, it is pretty much 100% your fault. And that may sound radical or mediocre at first or crazy, whatever, but you'll, 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 you'll see what I mean. For one, this game is really empty. There's like nobody in here. LOL! <laughs> uh oh. ICs? The ICs? Is somebody side rushing me? No, okay. But okay, as I was saying, right? If you fail, it's 100% your fault. And this goes for anything in life. The reason why I think so is because, like, I don't know, unless you have, like, a genuine mental illness and you cannot, like, do certain things, then, then maybe then maybe it's not your fault. Then, I don't know, you're just really unlucky. But if you're, like, fully well, your eyesight works, your hearing works, you're not mentally disabled, you're not mentally disabled, you're not, like, in a wheelchair or something like that, I don't know. It's 100% your fault if you fail in anything because I genuinely believe that it, you can you can achieve like how they say when you're a little kid oh you can be whatever you want to be I, f I generally think that's true if you work for it like if you work your hardest you can you can outdo the guy who's who has a bunch of natural talent by just doing the work for it you know I thought he would move. He's so stupid. And I know for a fact he's not good at the game. As I was saying, y'all, like, I generally feel like if you work as hard as you can, like, you might say, oh, that that guy, he, like, maybe your competitor or whatever. He's, why is he so talented? He barely does any work and he does better than I do. Oh my goodness, you are butt juice at the gate. How did you not hit me there? Anyway, sorry, sorry y'all, I've been very distracted. Oh. But yeah, as I was saying, right? Like, if you if you just work harder than him, there's a good chance you will do better. I don't, I don't know how else to say it. Man, that first hit he landed was actually kind of clean. From what I've realized, like, a lot of people don't succeed in what they want to do solely because they either give up or fail or one big killer i will tell you all right now one big killer when you're trying to do something and improve at it don't just don't just like oh practice makes perfect so i'm just gonna keep doing it over and over and over again until i get good at it no do not do that you have to actually like pra when you practice yes practice makes perfect please practice but when you practice you gotta like reflect and see what you can do better every like every single video i make i watch them fully through well i watch them fully through after i edit them and then i watch them fully through again when it actually uploads so that because like later on after after i like because when i first edit it my brain's kind of tired you know and then once i get through with it then i'll be like oh i could have done this 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 better how can i do this 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 better i'll figure out a way and that's why I try to improve my videos every single day. So that's why I genuinely believe if you fail, it's your fault. Because anybody, anybody can do what they want, bro. Like, there's even a study. We, in AP Lang, we went over this thing. Where is this dude, by the way? We went over this article. It was a scientific study that said, basically, if you are at least 10 IQ above the, uh, what's it called? above the average 10 iq that's it they say like if you're average you might you might be successful might not be but if you're at least 10 iq okay okay as i was saying there was a and you can try and look this up if you want to based on the description there was a scientific study done and like i said it just said oh hello uh -oh. Wait, is this dude a subscriber? I can't even tell. Oh, he is. Yo, 
Oh, we just met a subscriber. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him take the screeny. That's actually really cool. Nice. Of course. But now I'm gonna kill you, bro. Come here. Actually, okay, fine. Whatever. Just go. I forgot what I was saying. That's really, that's really nice, y'all. Shout out to him. Uh, I already forgot his name. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. XP, uh, XP Furbits. Thank you. Thank you for recognizing me. I really appreciate that. Please feel free to always come up to me if you see me in a game. It's, it's real cool. It is very surprising to me that I, that I get recognized in, uh, in public with, with only 200 subs. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm super off track. Okay, basically, I think I remember. The average IQ, you need... Okay, average IQ is 100, right? And you need 110 to be as successful as you could ever dream of. If you're below 110, then they say there's you could be. Like, there's a chance, but it, it, there is also a good chance that you just straight up don't. Like, no matter how hard you work. But yeah, there's it's it's not like a it's not like oh you need to be this smart or whatever. It's just a threshold. So yeah, it, it's it's honestly it's really cool. It's just it's so like how so many of the richest men in the world. Like if y'all have ever I don't know, not everyone is privileged enough to be around rich people or wealthy people or meet them. But I will tell you like I have, and the thing is like. A lot of a lot of them are stupid. I'm telling you that right now. Like the way they carry themselves, the way they speak, just everything. A lot of them are really, really stupid. And that kind of just proves that you don't need to be very smart to be successful in whatever you want to do. Because these people, even some people that are good in like okay, I will say intellectuals, like people who are successful in their in a field of study specifically, they are not stupid. They're pretty smart. Like even with carrying themselves stuff like that. But if you, in any other field, pretty much. All right, GG. But anyways, y'all, like I was saying, yeah, since it's, since it's a, since success based on intelligence is a threshold, Ooh, I, I thought I was gonna die there. I thought I was gonna fall through the one tiny hole. That would have been very embarrassing. Uh oh. I hope this dude's not good at the game. I really do. Oh, he's okay. He's kind of stupid. But whatever. I'm just gonna go to mid. You you can you can go have fun with that. But yeah, there, that's basically why I say that if you fail, it's your fault because it's a threshold. Now, of course, if you're below uh, 100 IQ, then or below 110 IQ, then uh, I don't know. You kind of cooked, not gonna lie. But and this this whole argument is kind of messed up. But I don't know. Even in my life experience, I mean, I'm only 17. I don't know why I'm saying life. Experience. All right, GG. Anyway, as I was saying, like, even in my life, my own life experience, I've realized, like, even if you go against talented people, if you just outwork them like so hard, you you can easily just skyrocket above them. Like it it is. It is amazing, and it's, ama it's, it's also amazing in this generation, people are way lazier than the last generation. So even now, it is a lot easier, actually, and like from what I've seen, to be good at stuff. Like me, I go to the gym, as many of you probably know, and like, everyone's always like, oh my, like, how are you so strong? Because I actually am the strongest, like, not to toot my own horn, but I am the strongest in my gym, and also one of the strongest in my grade level, at least pound for pound. And they always ask me how I'm so strong and stuff like that. I literally, okay, I eat like, I don't eat super good, like super clean. I eat somewhat clean, but it's not difficult because it's still like some unhealthy foods. But like literally all I do is do eat that, what I just said, drink a lot of water and go to the gym six days a week and try my best in the gym every day. And when you get into that routine, that system of working like that, it is, it's not difficult at all. And you just excel through everybody because nobody else wants to go six days a week and genuinely try their best. It's just, it's, it's weird to me. But yeah, that's just an example. Hopefully you can apply this to your real life and get out there, achieve your dreams, work hard. And yeah, 
that's going to cap it off for today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this video helped you. I hope you can implement it into your life. And yeah, that's going to cap it off for today, y'all. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.